So hello there, welcome to Damien's Trains and Travels and welcome to the video. And in this video I'll be showing you my Mr. Men book collection. I've been collecting these since the late 90s and as you can see on the back most of them can uh, feature the first 43 characters. And in my opinion I've, I think all of them characters are probably my more favourite ones of the Mr. Men. Although as you probably see later on in the video I do have a book of Mr. Cool and uh, I quite like the character Mr. Cool as well. Um, he came a bit later on. But he was one that I quite liked and I've been thinking about making this video for a very long time and it's quite funny actually because in the news uh, this week it's been announced that two brand new Mr. Men, well say a Mr. Men and a Little Miss character are coming out so you've got Mr. Fib and you've got Little Miss Surprise and I'm not sure if I'm actually going to buy them books or not to be honest with you but it's nice to see that they're still carrying on um, you know it's nice to see they're still carrying on and also this week it was announced that Wallace and Gromit are coming back as well for a new film with the Penguin Feathers McGraw coming back to it as well it's quite interesting as well and if I had to narrow it down the 15 books that you can see in this photo here I'd definitely say were my favourite stories and characters um, no particular reason really I just so I particularly like these stories and I think the stories of from what I remember, Mr. Strong and Mr. Rush were two of the first books that I got as well. So yeah, the ones you can see here are probably my favourite stories of the Mr. Men. And what I also liked in the books is when you've got other Mr. Men characters from the other books that appear in the story as well. I always think that that makes it a bit more interesting as well. And you've probably seen in many of my videos over the years, I've got, got a huge collection of a number of things and got a collection of Mr. Men toys and merchandise and I suppose I do collect quite a lot of things but I always say to people you know obviously myself and obviously you if you want to collect stuff as well you need to be careful not to sort of go over budget and spend too much and shop around and see what there is I mean so I'm just going out for the day and treating myself you can find stuff in second hand shops that you know for a reasonable price and good quality as well you know when you're collecting items But like I said, yeah, here's 48 books I've got of the Mr. Men. And it's funny, a lot of them, as I probably, you probably mentioned in a previous video that I did, I actually got from Wilco. And unfortunately, Wilco is now closed down, so it's a bit weird that that's appeared in my video now that's closed down. And it was the same, it was literally just after I'd made that video last year that they announced they were gone to administration. Then obviously later on they closed down because I couldn't find a buyer, unfortunately. Um, and another Mr. Men character I guess that I quite liked, I've probably said this before so I do apologise if I'm repeating myself, but Mr. Worry, because when I was at nursery or in reception at um, primary school, I think it was, yeah, it was reception, we had pegs and all our pegs had a Mr. Men character next to them and my, mine was actually Mr. Worry, I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing or not, but here's a better look at all the books and thank you very much for watching. Another interesting thing as well is if you put all the Mr. Men books, the ones from the 90s together, I don't know if you can the later uh, republished ones, and I think you could do the same with the Little Miss. From what I remember my sister used to buy the Little Miss books. Uh, I didn't buy them ones, but I remember seeing them around the house because say she had them. But the Miss Men ones, if you put them to all together, it actually reads and creates a little pattern. That says my Mister Men library, which is quite interesting to see when you put them all together.